I have film I watched last weekend was Villain, the 1971 gangland thriller starring Richard Burton. It's the story of Vic Dakin, the uh, very down-to-earth, believable uh, king of part of London's underworld, who is uh, in the midst of engaging with a, an armed robbery attempt with participation of one of his competitors. They uh, plan on robbing a major plastics factory in uh, our, outside London. But uh, inevitably things go awry and Dakin's own personal life also becomes highly involved. His close relationship with his elderly mother and the ambiguous relationship he has with uh, a young man named Wolfie, played by Ian McShane. Um, it's really a showcase for Burton. Um, it reminds me very much of Laurence Olivier's uh, uh, production of The Entertainer. Uh, seeing the way that theatre was going in the 1950s with the angry young men coming in with kitchen sink drama and a much more realistic, grounded theatrical uh, advice, he simply asked one of its leading proponents to write something for him and made the entertainer of a very dark story about post-Suez, post-war Britain. This Burton seems to be doing something quite similar, uh, wanting to break away from just doing Shakespeare and classical theatre to do something modern and gritty and believable. Dakin is a very, very believable gangland leader. He lives in a uh, suburban house. He lives with his mother. He has very ordinary tastes in many ways. Um, the fact that he's also the kingpin of an underworld scene is a brutal sadist. And um, the uh, the robbery goes off fumblingly badly, but the reasons it goes wrong are completely believable and human error. And you can imagine that should a real movie style heist try attempted to be perpetrated this is how it would go it would be this badly handled um it does have a few issues in terms of its story it does feel a little bit like a hangover from something like get carter which was released the same year and the more grittier early 70s uh, british cinema it doesn't feel like it's wildly original on those terms but as a character portrait as a central performance by Richard Burton and Ian McShane in his supporting role, it's pretty engaging stuff.